and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Kaylee, and on this channel, I cover all things true crime, travel, lifestyle, and just generalized vlogs. But you have come across the Outlander section of the channel. Now, I am a massive, massive fan of all things Outlander. And during our Droughtlander, while we wait for the next season to come out, I have been bringing out Outlander content every single week. So today I want to talk to you guys about Weebox. Now Weebox is a subscription service box from Scotland and every month they bring out a box full of Scottish treats. When I seen though that this month was all about Outlander, I thought what? I just can't. How could I miss this box? I need to get it. Now I have previously gotten boxes from Weebox and I have never been disappointed. I've loved absolutely everything from just oh, from little bags to jams. These guys come out with everything. I'm going to drop a link or a card above for the previous Weeboxing uh, that I did so you can see what it's like when it's not just like an Outlander theme. But I'm so excited to jump into this box. I hope, like, this is another thing that kills a bit more of Droughtlander while we wait for the next season. So let's jump straight in and see what we got. Okay, so the first two things you get when you open up your package from Weebox is this first little card here. Now, it has a beautiful picture and it gives you the information of what Weebox is all about. On the back, it has Welcome to the Weebox Clan. It has some details about some uh, like giveaways that they do, all their social media contacts down the bottom. And it just gives you like a brand of information. I'm going to drop all of the Weebox contact information down below. So you can go and check out their website and their Facebook page, their Instagram, all that sort of stuff will be down below. But yeah, so that's our first little card. Then our second card is a spoiler sheet. Now I don't want to, it's actually all written on the back, so I'm trying not to read it, but it has a spoiler sheet of what is included in the box and where it actually came from. And on the front here, it has a little bit of a blurb about be swept away to the land that inspired Diana Gabaldon's epic saga, Outlander, just like Claire, the World War II nurse, you know, go to Outlander, embark on a journey and the things that are going to be included. I don't want to read it all because I don't want to be spoiled. But how beautiful is that? Okay, so here we go. We're going to open up the box. Now, this box is smaller than the previous box that I got. Well, maybe not smaller, but it's a different shape. So it gives the illusion that it's different. Okay, so when you open it up, unbox your Scottish happiness here written on the top. Surprise you, fill you with pride, and give you a wee grin. Thank you for being a part of the Wee Box Clan. That is lovely. And then this is something that I do really like. The paper that comes, so like, instead of it being a tissue paper, it's actually newspaper from Scotland with a little WB Wee Box sticker. That's so cute. I love things like that. I mean, one, it's recycling. Two, you get to have a bit of a glimpse into how other people write on their newspapers. Although, I don't know, here in Australia, I don't think the newspaper is very popular at the moment. This is the very first item I have grabbed out of our box. Now let's open it up and have a look. Everything is so well wrapped in this box too, I might add. Okay, we have a tote bag. Oh, and on the front it has dinner fash. Now, this is very sturdy. It's like um, not just a recycling bag. It's one of the really heavy duty cotton ones with a pretty picture on the front there. That's really cool. Like I said, I like bags that are sturdy because I'm one of those people that will only make one trip from the car with my groceries. So the bags are chock-a-block and they they need to be sturdy. So that's really cool. The next thing I have pulled out of the box is a wee Scottish drinking charm inspired by Outlander. Okay, so what do we have here? So on the front, it's like a little coin on tartan. And on the back, it says tartan. Hang on, what can I get? Hang on, we might take this out of the bag so that you guys can see it easier. And so I can read the back easier. So on the back. Oh wow, that is really pretty. Okay, so here we go. On the back it says, Tartan, a bonny wee swatch of Clan Fraser hunting weathered tartan. Tradition, we have for you an exact replica of a sixpence coin as it would have looked in the late 1700s. Oh, that's really cool. Okay, so it has more than that, obviously, but that was just a general blur. But, like, it gives you a full detailed description. That is really pretty. How cool is the coin? I mean, I look, I love tartan. I love tartan in, in everything. I wear it a lot. But 
The coin itself, that looks really cool. I don't know if that's going to... Is it coming up? Can I see out my face? Oh, come on. I don't know. Okay, we'll do a close-up of that later. That's really cool. I'm very impressed with the little coin. I love things like that. You know, it gives you a bit of a blast from the past. The very next thing I have pulled out is a Hamilton and Young Outlander-inspired Standing Stones pendant. Now, this is what it looks like up close. And on the back, it says, The traditional Celtic symbol found on ancient standing stones, graves, and monuments across Scotland evoke meaning passed from former generations. This pendant can bring you closer to your ancestors and give you the feeling of peace, stability, and harmony, a oneness with all things. Now, that is really cool. Look at that. That's cool. And then on the back, it has a, the blurb about what it is. But there you go. I have now pulled out a box of biscuits. Now, I'm not sure if they're called biscuits over there when they're like this one's with the cream in the middle. But these are from the Loch Ness Bakery. And what are they? Okay, so they say they're creams. I'm assuming they're, maybe they're like our yo-yos. They look delicious. Absolutely delicious. Now, I don't know if I want to eat one now or wait for my husband to get home and we can share them. Because I know myself, once I open them, they won't last long. On the side, it says, Each time you buy one of our products, we at Loch Ness Bakery donate monies to support two charities. Each year, we pledge to donate 10% of our profits to the Erskine and Breston Ca Erskine and Beatston Cancer Charity. Enjoy your, bis enjoy your biscuits. There we go. In the knowledge, you are helping support some really good causes. That is lovely. Now, see, I love things like that. That is why I am fine with things like biscuits and things that come in boxes, especially when you know that their profits also support charities. That is lovely. I'm so glad I got to, like, I, I'm glad I was smart enough to read that when I kept seeing the little charity. So that's what they are, the charities. Oh, my God. Why won't it focus for you guys? That's amazing. Okay. And then on the other side, it says, At Loch Ness Bakery, we are really proud of the quality of the products made fresh every day in the bakery using secret family recipes. The gentle hands of skilled bakers blend and mix only the finest ingredients, then slowly bake these in traditional ovens until the master baker decides they are good enough to be enjoyed by you. I cannot wait to try these. The final item I've just pulled out of the box is this. Now, I am going to open it up. Okay, I've clicked out what it is. So, this is a reed diffuser with... Oh, is that open? Oh, no, it's not. Okay, I was like, oh, that has travelled bravely if there is no lid. But there is, of course, a lid. Now, on it, it has... Okay, so the smell is called my brown-haired lass. And it's a little bottle like this. Now... The trick is going to be to get the lid off without it spilling all over me. And you also get some diffuser reeds. All right, let's see what it smells like. I'm back. <laughs> it took me a few moments to get the safety lid off. So do not be alarmed. Well packaged, well secure. Your box is not going to smell like the scent. It's not going to leak. It was, <laughs> it was hard to get out. The smell, oh, I want to say it's really woodsy. Now, I'm not sure... I don't know, it, it's woodsy. I, I'm the worst <laughs> smell explainer. What do you call it? I don't even know what you call it, but I love it. It's really nice. And now I'm not a floral scent person at all. I cannot stand any sort of floral. But this doesn't scream floral to me. It has a, oh, okay, it has a hint of floral, but you have to really breathe deep to get the floral. It's more outdoor woods. I really do actually like it. That's blown my mind that I like it and it's not and it's not like a sweet lolly smell because that's really what I go for. You put your decorative reeds in here and then the smell will illuminate throughout your room. That's really cool. I like I love that we've got something that smells Scottish, if that makes sense, because there are many subscription boxes that can pull that off where you get something that smells like the country. And it's a pleasant smell. If that so, that I'm very happy. Well done, Wee Box. Okay, now that we have opened up everything from our Wee Box, we received five items, and I want to go through what everything is uh, via the card on the back. It will give us the exact descriptions instead of my guessing what the smell is. Now the cards are also customized. They do have your name on the back, so a little personal touch. And it says here we got a travel back in time with your standing stone necklace, and it has a 
little blurb for the necklace. Tartan tradition, time travel and toast. So all the sweets of love combined with music, love and wine, which was our Scottish tartan and penny. The signature scent of Monday Down Gaelic for my brown haired lass. Now, excuse me if I butchered any of that because I'm, I have a sore throat and I'm struggling as it is. Now, the scent. Timeless and exquisite, this scent evokes an ancient Scottish woodland filled with fir trees and juniper berries. Let the fragrance of fallen forest, fir needles, cedar wood, frankincense, and intensely rich juniper berries envelop you in Scotland and the land Claire fell in love with. I was pretty on the money. I'm, I'm okay with the fact that I even guessed that it was a woodland smell without reading the card. Because like I said, I'm not good at explaining scents. So it re and like okay, it's sitting over there now, and I can smell it. It's a very strong. It's it's not one of those ones that you're just gonna get a couple of whiffs of. It's very strong and it's lovely. Then it says about our cookies and how they come from the Loch Ness Bakery, and then of course we have the tote bag. So look, it does give you a full detailed description. I'm not gonna read them all out, but if you are thinking about getting a wee box, I highly recommend them. They are a little bit pricey for international. Now, for myself, I'm in Australia and it was 45, 46 pounds roughly, which equates to about 87 Australian dollars. Now, you might think that is a little bit pricey, but you've got to think that's including the shipping, that's including any taxes, anything like that. It's more about you getting a little piece from the country direct itself. You're not just buying some, you know, cheap Scottish items here in Australia that whatever these are direct from scotland you're getting things from the loch ness bakery from you do you know what i mean like i even though it is a bit pricey i do highly recommend weebox they always come out with the goods weebox it does come out every single month and you do have the option to just get a single one-off box if you're like myself and you just want to get say the outlander theme box or if they do a, a box with the highland cows or you know what I mean? They do do uh, sneak peeks for their boxes, so you have a rough idea of what could be coming. And then if you like that theme, you know, you can decide if you want to go in and buy a box. If you've enjoyed looking at the Wee Box unboxing with me today, please hit the like button or subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. I cannot wait to bring out more Outlander content for you next week, and I hope you all have a great day or weekend, whatever you're up to, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!